when we founded the school and called it Fitzroy Community School, uh, we did that despite the fact that uh, community school in Victoria normally means a school for, for battlers, children who are, who are not doing well at school. We didn't mean that. We meant a school with a family atmosphere. So for us, community is a group where everybody has the opportunity to know each other and where people know that they can depend on each other for support whenever they should need it. So we take very seriously the whole group, not just the children. We support the children certainly, their staff, their parents. So it is like the old-fashioned village community. There's everyone from the elderly all the way to babies and grandparents and uncles and aunties and um, you know, little brothers and sisters and cousins, everyone's welcome. Growing up as a kid coming through this community, it really made me value relationships and friendships with not just people your own age, but parents and kind of the kids that were in year six when you were a preppy. When a child first comes to FCS, they're given a biggie buddy and that biggie buddy is responsible for that younger person in making sure that they're happy and they know where they're going. That mentoring I think is really valuable for both, both the younger child and the older child. It's a very nurturing community. I've never encountered any form of bullying, um, rudeness is not tolerated. The kids are encouraged to literally um, treat others as they would want to be treated. Um, the education is not just about the three R's. It's about being a human being, uh, learning how to, to interact with other people and to make a real contribution to the world. Um, we have really a sense of every individual here. Everyone is unique and we, we feel as unique and as special. It's an amazing place where we can have time to be present for each other and we can take the time to be with each other. And I really like that because even if there is a, big, a lot of busyness, we still have allowed ourselves to take this time to be present for each other. Another quality that really helps the community is the the acceptance of difference. And, and I think you gain a lot as a community through letting people be themselves. My experience is that lets people be their best and give you their best. And so part of a, a really wonderful community is really just acceptance. And we attribute our academic success to the community nature of the school. When the children feel they belong, you don't get uh, kids versus teachers, you get a cooperative type of schooling which produces extraordinary outcomes. The children really do work well together. They have that sense that they can achieve things. I love the way the community raises food for the asylum seekers or the biggies run a fate for the community to raise money for a whole lot of different worthwhile causes. And the children have that sense that our community is then part of a wider community, be it in Australia or the world. Yes. I'm currently studying primary teaching, so I've been visiting lots of primary schools on rounds and just through for classwork. And I think one of the huge differences that I've noticed from this school in comparison is the fact that the parents come here and they want to hang around for a cup of tea in the morning and have a chat and get to know the kids and the other parents and the teachers. Whereas at the schools I've been kind of doing placement, they come in, they drop their kids and they run off and it's like school there is just for kids and it's not kind of a whole experience for the entire family which you get here. I know I can walk in the front door any time of the day and see my children and see all of the children and I can just walk into a class and help out, <clears throat> I can make a cup of tea. I can uh, have a chat to whoever's around. I can always ask the teachers how my kids are going or tell them if they're feeling a bit fragile or if they're a bit excited about something. And I know that 
that will always get heard and um, acted upon. So there's constant communication and uh, an open door always for all of us parents and that's really nice. The community has extended way beyond the actual time at school. Many past families of the school say the thing that is most special for them that they've taken from the school is the connections and the friendships they've made with other parents in the school. Many of our past students, you know, primary school buddies have ended up sharing homes together, gone on adventures together around the world, started businesses together. And when I needed a, a place to stay in my uh, last trip to Europe, one of my old students put me up, invited a couple of his classmates, my students together for dinner, which was a very special night. I think FCS grants a strong sense of belonging to many of its students. I think it's particularly evident in the amount of past students who have come back to FCS and get involved in school plays and working at the school later on as well. Naturally, what binds a community together is eating together. And that's why we don't have the children bringing all their different lunches to school. Uh, they come here and we bring food from the market and uh, Sometimes uh, some parents will come in and make up something and we all eat together. Also, the, the actual headquarters of the school is the kitchen, just as it is uh, in the family home. It seems to be the natural place for people to, to come together and sort things out. And so for us, the kitchen is the staff room and uh, it's where the parents come to say hello and uh, the children come to see what what to, they should be doing next. Community, of course, means working with everyone in a unified way. So this is what we try to do. We, we hope that we will all believe in raising um, beautiful children for the world. And I think indeed we do.